Green River um, Multicultural Children's Lit uh, Week Five. We're talking about um, helping children get along. And so helping children get along is um, best done by making sure that they know what they're feeling. So if they understand their emotions. And so this book is a really good one. Today, I'm a monster by Trevor Judson and Agnes Green, illustrated by Victoria Mikhailovich. Sometimes we just get up on the wrong side of the bed, don't we? Today, I am a monster. I woke with a sore head. I want to keep on dreaming. Don't get me out of bed. I also like this book because it rhymes. <laughs> I will not put my slippers on. My claws won't fit inside. Today I have my monster face. You'd better run and hide. I will not say good morning to you, dear mom and dad. I'd rather do a monster dance to show you that I'm bad. <laughs> I will not eat my cereal and look, my bowl's a hat. I'd rather eat it monster style than tip it on the cat. My juice is the brightest orange, the color of monster blood. I'll pour some on the tablecloth. I'm sure you'll think it's good. My sister built a Lego house that took her all last week. My monster foot stomps down on it and really makes her shriek. Mm. We walk to kindergarten. My neighbor says, hey, you, because I'm standing on his flowers as angry monsters do. I like your lovely daffodils. I love your climbing rose. I think I'll pull the petals off and stick them up your nose. Oh my goodness gracious. All the time the angry feelings hot within my head. It wants to make me do bad things that gets me sent to bed. Mother takes me to the park. Our dog begins to wail. Hey, don't you bite that poor pup and let go of his tail. We meet my friend and I grab his car. He cries and pulls and pushes. With monster strength, I tug it free and throw it in the bushes. <laughs> oh, this kid was having a bad day. I am the monster boy, I shout, all tired and forlorn. I'll eat you all and never sleep. Then I lay down on the lawn. Mother sees I'm drifting off. The monster's eyes can only peep. She scoops me up and carries me. And oh, her, her hair smells just like sleep. She carries me and puts me down wraps me in my quilt. She seems to know it was not me who roared and broke and spilt. That's what, that's how mommies are. She tells me that she knows I'm not the thing with claws and teeth, that when I'm angry, she still sees the good boy underneath. And as she softly cradles me, I'm turning back into me. Her love can melt through monsters, the good, is all she sees. Hmm. Everyone has bad days. All grown-ups know it's true. When I was just a little girl, I was a monster too. But mothers know that monsters are an angry old disguise. The best of you is still inside. We see it in your eyes. Oh. We love you when you make us proud. We love you when you rage. We soothe the monster with our love and return it to its cage. She coos and whispers, strokes my hair. Her calm words soothe my ears. The monster smiles and better now, he waves and disappears. Sleep is coming warm and quiet. The slipping sunlight gleams. I'm bobbing on a little boat upon the sea of dreams. I'll be me again tomorrow. I'll play outside for hours. I'll help my sister build her house and the neighbor with his flowers. I'll push my friend upon his bike and make him laugh and giggle. I'll throw a stick the dog can chase and give his chin a tickle. And if my monster should come back one angry rainy day, I'll give him half my lunch and tell him everything's okay. The end. This is a great book because it shows children that even when they have bad days, we still see them. 
Do we still see the true them through their eyes? And we know that just having a bad day. We all do. This is called giving grace. And if we are gracious with children, they will learn that grace and they will be gracious with others eventually, we hope. <laughs> all right, thank you.